here is the equation of a line. y plus 3 equals 2 thirds times the quantity x minus 5. We're going to answer a couple of questions using that equation. First of all, what is the slope of the line? Second of all, which point does the line go through, which can be seen in this equation? In other words, can you just only look at the given equation and identify an ordered pair x comma y that the line would intersect without doing any kind of calculations. Now, since we were asked to identify a point and the slope of the line, let's use the point slope formula. That's why it's named the point slope formula because you can e easily look at it and identify your x1 and your y1 and your slope. So just comparing the two equations, or the equation with the general formula, we can identify that the slope is 2 thirds and the point is 5 comma negative 3. Now notice that the 5 here is positive when we give it as part of our answer and that's because there's a negative built into the general formula. However, notice that where on the left side where the y1 value is shown, there is a plus sign here where in the general formula there is normally a negative. So what that means is that y1 is the opposite sign of what you see here. So we had to make sure to give the y coordinate as a negative 3 rather than a positive 3. Now, how do you memorize the point slope formula? Are you good at just recalling that or do you need a little help? So here's a tip for how to remember the point slope formula. Recall something you might be more familiar with. A lot of students seem to find it easier to remember the slope formula, whereas you're just subtracting the y values divided by the subtraction between the x values, just making sure to line up your coordinates as they are paired in their ordered pairs. Now, if you just clear this fraction by multiplying both sides by the quantity in the denominator, x2 minus x1, you'll get this. And that's the point slope formula. The only difference in this version of it is that you see a y sub 2 and an x sub 2 instead of just a plain x and a plain y, but you can ignore those subscripts. So that's an easy way to remember your point slope formula, which is very useful not only for problems like these where we're asked to identify the slope and a point from the given equation, but if you were working the other way around and let's say you were given the slope and you were given this point, could you figure out that it, this was the equation? This would help you do that, this point slope formula.